Hello, in this example we want to define an S list and this is a sorted list and this definition comes from a textbook by the author Hunter uh, called Essentials of Discrete Mathematics. So this definition comes from a textbook by Hunter. So we'll define an S list as follows. We'll do this recursively with the base case of X where X is an element of the real numbers. Our recursive case will be x comma y. In other words, we've got two s lists, x and y, and each of these s lists have the same number of elements, and the last number of x is less than the first number sitting in y. All right, now let's take a look at uh, two examples at least, and we want to play a game called s list or not. So the first example here, number one, We've got some big red parentheses on the outside and then the next kind of level in are the parentheses that are purple and then the smallest or the deepest level in there would be uh, the ones with the turquoise or cyan parentheses. So let's take a look. Inside each of the cyan parentheses we've got two elements so that looks good. And then in each of the purple S lists we have a uh, these cyan parentheses and so we've got two of those items. So at every level we kind of have two to a power. Um, in this case we have two to the three which is eight elements and in general these S lists always have two to the P elements where P denotes the depth. The depth the T in there, the depth of the S list. So that P denotes the depth. So in this case, our depth would be three. There's kind of three layers or three levels to this. And you could even imagine making a, a binary tree out of this. And you could imagine um, there being maybe, you know, three levels to this. The, so this was an S list, yes. The example number two is not an S list and notice it's not an S list because um, over here we had uh, two elements right, sitting in that set of parentheses and then we only had one over here so this is not an S list. Okay.